Hi, Bill Sergio here, coming to you from my home in sunny Santa Monica, California. I'm going to show you how to install TV apps on the new Samsung 2013 Smart TV sets. The first step is to go online and set up a developer account. Now, this is a developer ER account. Then, set your computer firewall to allow connections to the TV set or just turn the firewall off completely, which is what I recommend. This way, you know, you know it's not going to interfere. Next step is very important. Let's go to the uh, Smart TV set itself. And on the Smart TV set, there's an area for launching Samsung apps once you're in the app section. Now, this is where you're going to go to log in. This is where you go to create a develop account. Not a developer ER account, but a develop, D-E-V-E-L-O-P account. Don't confuse the two. Now, what Samsung changed is they removed the password. You do not need a password. If you try to put in a password on a develop account, it isn't going to work. It's left blank. The key at this point is to go ahead and click on the Samsung app section uh, icon at the top, which will take us now, and it does take a second because the thing's going to load. It's going to load those apps, and a, a login screen comes in. So what we're going to do next is to go to login, click on login, and you'll notice we're going to type the word develop lowercase, D-E-V-E-L-O-P lowercase. We are going to leave password blank, hit create account, and bingo, as soon as we do that, guess what? We will have a develop account. Actually, what's going to happen is you're going to see an annoying connecting little spinner spinning. It'll spin forever. Just ignore it because it, it's a, it's a, uh, nobody thought of shutting it off. So it just spins. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go down to more apps on the bottom of your screen. Click on more apps at the bottom of the screen. Go to options, upper right-hand corner, options. Go down to IP setting. This is the next most important thing is to set your IP address here. Now what you're going to do here is to type in your IP address um, using that little gadget at the top of your remote. So go ahead and type in your IP address here. Um, now what's going to happen, you'll notice you may have to type this in more than once. Uh, if you turn off your TV, um, a lot of times this gets lost. So <laughs> you're going to be going back and forth. The one thing you got to understand about the process is you must always first manually log into your regular online Samsung account. That's the developer ER account that does use a password. Log into there first and then uh, go ahead and uh, log out and then go ahead and log in to your develop d-e-v-e-l-o-p lowercase account where the password is blank um, it'll spin and spin ignore the spinning and now you'll see in the lower left hand corner a little some text that'll indicate that you are logged in as develop with no er at the end that's very important now you notice what we're trying to do here is to connect and you know this is going to happen to all of you the first time you try to connect and bring one of your apps over from your computer more than likely what's about to happen is what you're going to see now on the screen ah there's our the famous error that you'll find all over the web you can check to make sure that you have an internet connection bottom line you're going to need to go back log out log in with your developer ER account log out of that because that has to happen first and now when after you complete that you'll be able to go back to the menu go down now to start app synchronization which is the last choice and as you see we are now installing two apps I have two apps in my folder um, and I hit update complete take a look at the screen you'll see two apps Sergio TV and Sergio Green those are the two icons I just installed for my apps <clears throat> and it was that simple by the way if you have some products you'd like to sell on national TV hey come and see our website we'll sell it for you on national TV if we think it'll sell no cost to you that's what we do we have huge amounts of TV time 30 seconds 60 seconds and half hours we got it.